you have these experiences that are very complex and very bittersweet. Is that, is that something that you felt in your coverage? Oh, definitely. I mean, you make the best friends, the closest friends, because you rely on each other. I mean, of course, life is about human relationships at the end of the day, whether it's the subject you're photographing or the person that you're doing it with. Um, so, yes, of course, that, that's important and intense. And also, I've been so privileged to go to Afghanistan, to go to Iraq, to go to the Congo, and see dreadful things and the most amazing things, and people coping with the fallout of other people's decisions. And to obvious question, as a woman, do you think there's a difference in the way that you work to, to your male comrades, or is it, is it just we're all just doing the same job? And what, how do you kind of play with that in your own um, work? I think men are catching up. <laughs> so when, when, I first, when I was in El Salvador, Nicaragua in the early 80s, um, I can remember um, people going off to the front line with the army to photograph the band band. And I was photographing a reproductive um, rights workshop, um, equally important for women in El Salvador, whether your husband's a soldier or a guerrilla. Um, but you're going to carry on having babies. Um, and I felt proud to be doing that and, and not being a, a bang bang person. Um, and people didn't used to be interested in refugees. Um, now it's one of the biggest stories there is. And, yeah. I mean, I think so, that was always my interest. It wasn't in the front line, in the soldiers, because you find soldiers in all these conflicts. I was always trying to find that unique angle in a particular story that made it different or special. And obviously you've concentrated on women. Do you think that, that the world has become more aware of the issue of women in conflict over this period? Or do you feel like it's, it's gone backwards or forwards? Or, you know? No, I think it's definitely gone forwards. I think during the Bosnia War, um, Maggie O'Kane on The Guardian did a lot by reporting the lives of women in a main newspaper. Nick, I just really wanted to know what inspired you to make this film. What was what was your connection with, with this world of photojournalism and, and how did you choose the characters you were going to... Because it's a very interesting, as, as, as Jenny said, interesting arc in terms of these different photographers at different points in their careers with different kind of work, work or pro ways of approaching their work. How, so how did the idea for the film come about? Um, well, it, it came about a number of years ago. Actually, it was a, a pretty long time in the making. Um, and mostly my initial connection to this world uh, or at least most strongly was uh through pete muller um mm -hmm. the uh, um, subject of the first step of course and he's someone that i had gotten to know when i was living in dc uh, and at that time was working um for national geographic uh running a, a division um, based on a company i had started in college long ago and and pete was um, became involved in that in correspondence program that we uh, launched he was sort of part of the first group of uh, correspondents that we that we uh, sponsored, and that's how he and I got to know each other in particular uh, professionally. And we stayed in touch uh, as friends and as colleagues after that. And uh, he actually worked with me on my first film, uh, which we shot together in South Africa. And so my connection to that world and to the work, um, again, most strongly was, uh, was through him and through his work and his career as it evolved. Mm -hmm. And I just grew increasingly fascinated by what I was learning uh, from him and, of course, uh, what I knew and perceived throughout um, the rest of, of you know, media. Um, and I met a lot of other people through him, photographers.